Okay, next one, bit of a silly story. Um, Liverpool have been linked with Vinicius Junior um, by a very, very reliable Real Madrid journalist, must I say. Um, so for the people who in in Twitter who were calling him not reliable and lies, it, it, it he's a top source for Real Madrid. Basically, uh, us, Manchester City, Chelsea, PSG and a few other clubs contacted... Uh, Vinicius Junior's agent to ask him if he would sign. However, he turned him down straight away and said Real Madrid is the top. He doesn't want to leave, and he's signed a new contract with Real Madrid, which will be announced in July, according to a lot of people. So it, it's a bit of a non-starter, but you know we're talking about salary replacement. So <laughs> <laughs> Jack, there's probably not many better than Vinicius Junior is there to maybe replace him, but. It seems like it was just a bit of a, you know, a Killian and Mbappe, Yale and Hall, and we were just like, oh, you know, how, how much would he would he want? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's being paid what ten million euros a year. It comes out to like two hundred grand a week, something like that. Um, that's a very fair deal. Um, I think PSG offered him stupid money, but I'm 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 glad he turned that down because that should not be the the trend football is turning to. Um, my my prevailing memory of Vinicius Junior, well. Now it's more tainted because of the, the goal that beat us in the Champions League final is more so that um, back when we played them in the 2020-21 season, um, Chedu was calling him trash the entire time we were playing them, like in the build up to playing them in the in the quarterfinals. And then he scores the goal in the first leg and is one of the big reasons we get knocked out. So I, I will always remember him for that um, and the turnaround he's made in the last 12 months. Um Yeah, I agree. Non-starter. It, it really didn't make much sense for him to leave Real Madrid. Um, would have been a great signing, but I mean, I don't know. I just would have been very stunned if that happened. Like that, that would have been up there with just the weirdest and craziest transfers that have ever happened because that just that would have been remarkable, a remarkable get, but unsurprised it didn't happen. Yeah, I mean, Neil, it would have been a statement side, and I probably Real Madrid would have been demanding over 150 million for him. It, it, it is a bit strange that Liverpool asked, though, isn't it? You know, maybe they were just feeling out the water, but it, to me, it just doesn't seem like a like a Liverpool signing, honestly. No, it doesn't. I think I don't know if it, it was an old report because I think I'd seen I'd seen this reported somewhere a, a, a few months back, but it was never going to happen, was it? He has had something of a of a breakout season um, at, at Real Madrid this season. I think twenty two goals, twenty assists. They're not going to let him go. He's young. He's got everything that they want, um, and he's and at a young age. He's already having a big impact, so no chance that was ever going to happen. Yeah, I mean, Kev, what what are your thoughts on it? We'll keep this one nice and short, but <laughs> it, it seems like a, it seems like a non-starter, doesn't it? I'll I'll keep it as short as this. I agree with the lads. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> 